Hi, I'm Jim Jordan, speaking to you from Ashland, Oregon, July 26, 2012. And today I want to talk to you about um, intestinal permeability, also known as leaky gut syndrome. It's something that people who are in the healthcare field and pe uh, people who are patients or clients uh, for some time and look into natural healing are pretty well aware of. And um, basically what it is, is when the intestinal lining has some damage to it or some weaknesses in the tissue, waste and undigested proteins can leak into the bloodstream. So the way I see this usually is with my live blood cell testing. I see actually waste from the bowels in the blood. And it can be anywhere from very, very little, like one or two of these particles called protoplasts up to as high as 40 or 50 in a drop of blood. So the effect of this on your body is tremendous. It has a tremendous adverse effect on your health. Allergies develop because there's undigested proteins leaking into your blood so your immune system is reacting to those, those undigested proteins. Toxins recirculate and create pain, fatigue, headaches. They get deposited in tissues and organs and glands and disrupt the function of those tissues, organs, and glands. Um, you basically feel, potentially, if it's a severe case, very, very lousy. You can have gastrointestinal problems, of course. So the question is, um, I, actually, I gave a talk on this topic about a month ago at a daycare center because a lot of children have this condition. And often, it, you know, we, the parents want to know what are the causes of this. First of all, what's going on with their kids? Why do they have allergies or skin problems or hyperactivity? All kinds of health come, uh, issues come from this. So when I look at the blood and I see, get an assessment, see if there's lots of signs of leaky gut, then we go to the causes. And the causes are going to be, uh, there's, a, there's a combination of causes, but first of all, antibiotics. Use of antibiotics are going to destroy the beneficial bacteria in your intestines, and that's going to leave room for fungus, candida, and parasites to overgrow. Those pathogens then will damage the gut lining, and that's where the leaky gut starts. That's the number one thing. Uh, vaccinations also can have a similar effect. Um, poor diet, excess sugar, carbohydrates, gluten grains, soda pop, all are going to create problems, feed pathogens in the intestines. Some of the acids are going to sort of start to burn and just destroy the, the intestinal lining. That's going to lead to the leaky gut. And what happens then is when the bowel, the bowel starts leaking waste in the blood, the child or the adult, whoever gets, starts to develop these symptoms. And then most doctors treat the symptoms and not the cause. So actually the treatment, um, there's, other, there's other causes too, including non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, um, basically uh, poor diet, uh, eating lots of processed foods, fried foods, anything that's not digested in the intestines is actually going to create waste that sticks in the intestines, constipation. That's a breeding ground for more pathogens to grow. So again, the pathogens and the toxins are what's driving the whole process. So to reverse this process, basically we have a diet that's strict, sort of what's known as an anti-candida diet, which is a diet that's low in sugars, alcohol, uh, coffee, uh, processed foods, vinegar, all the things that feed candida overgrowth or pathogen overgrowth in the intestines. And then there's certain things you can take which will start to repair the intestinal lining. There's good quality probiotics. There's supplements like L-glutamine. Uh, there's certain other nutrient deficiencies. Zinc and B6 are involved in the intestinal barrier protection. So when you put together a nutritional plan, a pathogen clearing plan, which might include a natural antifungal program, which could be oregano, garlic supplements, herbal teas that are anti-fungal, anti, uh, anti-candida. When you put together a program that covers the, the, uh, new, uh, the causes, eliminating the causes, a healthy diet, and the correct treatment, then what will happen is gradually over time, anywhere between one to three months, the number of leaky gut toxins in the live blood are going to start to decrease, and a person's going to be a lot healthier. So I've seen in children who recover generally pretty fast, in as short as one month, the leaky gut toxins go from 30 or 40 in a drop of blood down to several in a drop of blood. So this is very important, a very important issue to address for children and adults. Uh, the two primary tests that are done to assess it would be the live blood cell test, which has to be done in person. 
and an intestinal barrier uh, test that can be done, a saliva test that can be done by distance. I can send you the, a kit in the mail. You send it to a lab. So if you're interested in this and you want to learn more information, you can call my office at 541-482-2250. Visit my website at www.createvibranthealth.com. Have a great day.